so we'll solve few more numerical on this bell drive as you can see we have an example here it is saying that the bell drive transmit 8 kilowatt of power from a soft rotating at 240 rpm to another soft uh, rotating at 160 rpm the belt is 8 mm thick and the diameter of the smaller pulley is 600 mm and two softs are 5 meter apart mu is given 0.25 and if the maximum stress in the belt is limited to 3 newton per mm square find the width of the belt for open belt drive and for a crossed belt drive okay so here we have uh, the given data you can see uh, given data are uh, n1 is given 240 rpm <clears throat> N2 is 160, N2 is given 160 RPM, uh, driving pulley is smaller and <coughs> uh, because we are assuming that the driving pulley is smaller, okay, that's why, and then uh, your uh, D is given 600 mm. Okay. Uh, so your R is 300 mm. Mu is given 0 0.25. Power transmitted 8 kilowatt. Uh, distance between the sub x or you can take c capital c as per your notations 5 meter and maximum stress is limited to 3 newton per mm square okay so the larger uh, radius uh, we can find out is in the velocity relation that is your n2 by n1 is equal to d1 by d2 okay or we can say <coughs> uh, 160 by 240 is equal to um, your 600 by d2 so your d2 will be 600 into 240 divided by 160 so it is 900 mm okay uh, that means the larger radius r will be uh, this you can take i am taking a d2 uh, it is also expressed as capital uh, larger diameter or capital d so with respect to that it is larger radius or capital r okay it is 450 mm now uh, linear velocity of the belt can be denoted by pi d n1 by 60 considering the driving pulley okay so it will be pi into uh, 0 0.6 into n1 is 240 divided by 60 so 7.54 meter per second okay now we know <coughs> that the power transmitted formula power transmitted P is equal to <coughs> sorry uh, T1 minus T2 into V so power is given 8000 watt which is equal to T1 minus T2 into 7.5 Five four. So we can get the 
tension difference T1 minus T2 that is 8000 divided by 7.54 that will be your 1061 Newton. Okay. Now consider uh, open belt drive. Open belt drive. So for open belt drive, uh, the angle of contact, angle of contact theta is your pi minus two sine inverse. R minus R divided by X. Okay, so we have pi minus two sine inverse four fifty minus three hundred divided by five thousand. All are in mm. So it will be uh, three point zero eight one radian okay now use this relation ratio of tension t1 by t2 is equal to e to the power mu theta so we have t1 by t2 is equal to e to the power mu is 0 0.25 theta in radian 3.081 so this gives us 2.161 okay that means your t1 is equal to 2.161 times of t2 relation between tight and slack side tension so once you get that we know that uh, your from this equation let's say this is 1 this is Two. So from equation one, from equation one and two, we can use this relation that two point one six one T two minus T two is equal to one zero six one. Okay, <clears throat> so that will give you this T two equal to nine hundred. 14 Newton and value of T1 equal to 1975 Newton. So you got the tensions, okay, tight side and slack side tension. Now, maximum tension we know maximum tension T1 is equal to sigma stress into area cross sectional area stress is sigma cross sectional area is width of the belt into thickness of the belt okay here we are not considering centrifugal tension so maximum tension will be equal to t1 okay so we have 1975 is equal to 3 into b into 8 so width of the belt will be 82.3 mm this will be the width of the belt now for crossed belt drive for crossed belt drive this theta is equal to pi plus 2 beta or in some books they take it alpha as I told you earlier so it will be pi plus 2 sine inverse r plus r divided by x okay so this theta will be pi plus 2 sine inverse 
फोर फिफ्टी प्लस थ्री हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव थाउजेंड सो दिस विल बी थ्री पॉइंट फोर फोर थ्री रेडियन ओके एंड रेशियो ऑफ टेंशंस टी वन बाय टी टू इज इक्वल टू ई टू द पावर म्यू थीटा so e to the power 0.25 into theta is 3.443 so it is 2.365 that means t1 is equal to 2.365 t2 uh, now let's say this is equation Three. So from equation one and three, we have two point three six five t two minus t two is equal to. You can see in equation one, it is one zero six one newton. Okay. So we can write here one zero. Six one, so that will give you T two uh, equal to triple seven newton, okay, and uh, T one equal to one eight three eight newton. <coughs> Now maximum tension. maximum tension t1 is equal to sigma bt so i can write this 1838 equal to sigma is 3 width of the belt we need to find out t thickness is given 8 mm so width of the belt will be 76.6 mm similarly suppose another problem is given to you let's say example 5 example 5 So here you can see a hundred mm wide and ten mm thick uh, belt transmit five kilowatt of power between two parallel shafts. The distance between the shaft center is one point five meter. That is x is given. The diameter of smaller pulley small d is given, and the driving and the driven shaft rotate at sixty and one fifty rpm. respectively mu is 0.22 okay and find the stresses in the belt if the two pulleys are connected by open belt drive or as a cross belt drive so here uh you can see it is telling the smaller pulleys 440 mm and uh, driven shaft rotated at 60 and <coughs> Uh, driving shaft rotated at 150. That means driving uh, pulley is smaller. Okay, so uh, or uh, you can choose to write in terms of one and two. Okay, uh, <coughs> so here width of the belt is given. Hundred mm, hundred mm. Uh, part of the balance, the distance between the shaft center is one point. The diameter of the smaller pulley is four forty mm, and then the driving and the driven shaft driving n one is given. N one is sixty, n two is one fifty mm. Okay. 
uh, thickness of the belt T is 10 mm power transmitted is 5 kilowatt distance between the shaft X is 1.5 meter okay. 1.5 meter here uh, diameter of the driven uh, pulley is given to you okay this is the diameter <coughs> so <coughs> linear velocity is phi d into y 60 so pi into 0 0.44 into 150 divided by 60 that is your 8.45 meter per second and power transmitted formula is p is equal to t1 minus t2 into b let's say this is equation one so that means p is 5000 watt so 5000 is equal to t1 minus t2 into 8.45 okay that means t1 minus t2 is 1449.27 newton So, for open belt, open belt drive, <clears throat> angle of contact, remember, should be equal to pi minus 2 beta or alpha in some books they used to take. So, it is pi minus 2 sine inverse r plus r divided by x. <clears throat> so it will be pi minus 2 sine inverse uh, 550 minus 220 divided by 5000 okay <clears throat> so uh, this theta will be 2.698 radian now this t1 by t2 is equal to e to the power mu theta that is e to the power 0 0.22 coefficient of friction is given 0 0.22 yes into 2.698 that is 1.810 so uh, your t1 is equal to 1.810 t2 okay let's say this is 2 this is equation 3 so from <coughs> equation 2 and 3 1.810 t2 minus t2 is 1449.27 or you can write t2 is equal to um, 1789.23 newton and t1 is equal to 3238.5 Newton now stress in the belt we need to find out and we know that maximum stress maximum tension sorry maximum tension T1 is equal to Sigma 
dt so sigma will be equal to t1 by bt so 3 to 38.5 divided by width is 100 t is 10 so this will give you 3.25 newton per m square now <coughs> for cross belt drive for cross belt drive uh, we know that this angle of wrap theta is pi plus 2 beta uh, this is because let's say if you are taking a open belt drive here like this <clears throat> this total angle is pi so pi minus 2 beta here for the uh, driven shaft and in case of cross belt drive this is added here pi plus 2 beta okay so pi plus 2 sine inverse r plus r divided by x okay so you'll have pi plus 2 sine inverse <coughs> Capital R was 550, I think. Yes, 550. 550 plus 220 divided by 5000. You can get this using this relation L2 by N1 is equal to D1 by D2. Okay, you can find out. So you'll get this theta as 4.5. 2 to radian now we have t1 by t2 is equal to e to the power mu theta e to the power 0 0.22 into 4.22 uh, that is equal to 2.53 that means t1 is equal to 2.53 t2 let's say this is equation 4 so from equation 2 and 4 from equation 2 and 4 you'll have t2 is equal to 947.23 newton if you substitute that and t1 will be 2396.5 Newton. Okay. Now, stress you can find out using this relation that maximum tension T1, T is equal to T1, that is sigma into B into T. So, sigma will be T1 by bt so 2396.5 divided by 100 into 10 so 2.396 newton per mm square okay <coughs> then in the next problem Let's say this is example six. Example six. So here you can see question consider centrifugal tension into account, and it says that. 
an open build drive is required to transmit 10 kilowatt uh, of power from motor running at 600 rpm diameter of the driving pulley is 250 mm speed of the driven pulley is 220 rpm and belt is 12 mm thick and as mass density is given 1013 uh, 0.001 gram per mm3 sorry safe stress in the belt is not to exceed this 2.5 newton per mm square two shafts are 1.25 meter apart mu is 0.25 determine the width of the belt considering centrifugal tension okay here we have to consider the centrifugal tension okay so <coughs> given data given data we have uh, n1 given 600 rpm n2 is 220 rpm uh, d is given 250 mm so your r is 125 mm mm. power p is given 10 kilowatt uh, mu is given 0.25 density thickness of the belt t is given 0.012 mm <coughs> density is given 0.001 gram per mm cube okay that is point zero uh, zero one into ten to the power uh, nine gram per meter q that is one thousand kg you can say kg per meter q now considering centrifugal tension centrifugal tension total tension T T1 is equal to in the tight side total tension in the tight side is is the tension in the tight side plus centrifugal tension okay <coughs> now uh, T is equal to T1 minus T2 into B okay now this V is equal to R omega we know this is R omega so this will be omega into R plus half of the thickness because belt thickness is given to you so this will be 2 pi n by 60 into R is 125 mm plus belt thickness is 12 by 2 okay so 2 pi into 600 by 60 into 131 so it will be 8231 m per second or you can say 8 point 231 meter per second okay now <coughs> power transmitted is given to us so it is 10,000 which is equal to t1 minus t2 into b it is 8.23 meter per second so t1 minus t2 is your 1 2 1 5 Newton if you solve now ratio of tension ratio of tension T1 by T2 is e to the power mu theta okay so <coughs> 
where theta is the angle of wrap. So uh, for open build drive, for open build drive, theta is pi minus two beta. So this is pi minus two sine inverse r minus r divided by x so pi minus 2 sine inverse 340.9 minus 125 divided by x uh, distance between the center is 1.25 meter so 1250 mm how i got this 340.9 because n1 and n2 are given to us n2 by n1 is equal to d1 by d2 okay <coughs> from there you can find out okay uh, it is telling the driven pulley is rotating as 3 foot uh, 220 and driver is rotating at 600 and diameter of the driving pulley is given to you okay means d1 is given so you can find out d2 or <coughs> maximum diameter so it will come around 340.9 so uh, this is equal to around 2.79 radian okay now we have ratio of tension uh, t1 by t2 is equal to e to the power mu theta so e to the power 0 0.25 into uh, 2.79 into 2.79 it is 2 so t1 is equal to 2 t2 now we have uh, this equation let's say this is 1 okay <clears throat> 1 to 1 5 and this is equation 2 so here you can write down 2 t2 minus t2 is 1 to 1 5 that means t2 will be your 1 to 1 5 Newton and T1 is here 2 4 3 0 Newton okay now centrifugal tension we know centrifugal tension tc is mass of the belt into the linear velocity that is mass per unit length multiply with the b square so what is mass this is volume per unit length <coughs> multiply with uh, density into p square okay and what is volume it is width into thickness into <coughs> length this is volume multiply with density okay multiply with b square now 
width we need to find out b thickness is 0 0.012 per unit length so length will be 1 and density is 1000 okay this into uh, 8.23 square so <coughs> this is equal to uh, we have to find out the width right <coughs> So this much is equal to uh, 812, 812.79 B Newton, okay, centrifugal tension. So total tension, total tension in tight side, if you are considering in tight side T, T1 is equal to tension in the tight side plus centrifugal tension. Tension in the tight side is 2430 plus centrifugal tension is 812.79 times of B. Okay. And this should be equal to sigma into B into T. And that is sigma is 2.5 into 10 to the power 6 because sigma is given here <coughs> stress in the belt is not to exceed 2.5 newton per mm square so if you consider into meter square it will be into 10 to the power 6 into b into thickness is 0 0.012 so we can write this as 2430 plus 812.79 B is equal to 30,000 B. That means your B is equal to 0 0.0832 meter or you can say it is 83.2 mm okay now <coughs> another problem so question is given will be your example 7 example 7 okay so let's say this is the question two parallel shaft that are 3.5 meter apart are connected by two pulleys of 1 meter and 400 mm diameter larger pulley being driver and runs at 220 rpm the belt weights 1.2 kg per meter length the maximum tension in the belt is not to exceed 1.8 <coughs> kilo newton mu is 0.28 speed of the driven pulley is 520 rpm only determine torque on each shaft power transmitted power lost in friction efficiency of the drive you have to find out this much so here in the given data the given data <coughs> diameter of the larger pulley d is given 1 meter so r is uh, 500 mm uh, small d is 400 mm so r is 200 mm n1 speed of the driver is 220 
RPM and 2 is 520 RPM mu is 0 0.28 uh, then mass is 1.2 kg per meter then uh, maximum tension T maximum tension is 1800 Newton distance between the shaft is 3500 mm so we have linear velocity V is pi D n1 by 60 so pi into uh, this will be capital D if you are considering driver so pi into 1 into 220 divided by 60 this is 11.51 meter per second okay now centrifugal tension centrifugal tension T C is here mv square so this is 1.2 into 11.51 square okay so this is equal to 158.97 take a whole value to 159 newton okay now tension in the <coughs> tight side if we need to find out because we know that total tension in tight side is T T1 or in some book T is equal to tension in the tight side plus centrifugal tension so now if you are interested to find out T1 it will be T minus TC so 1800 minus tc is 159 so 1641 newton okay now um, theta considering open bell drive angle of lab angle of lab theta will be pi minus 2 beta so this will be pi minus 2 sine inverse r minus r by x okay so pi minus 2 sine inverse 500 minus 200 divided by 3500 it is 2.97 radian now ratio of tensions ratio of tensions t1 by t2 is equal to e to the power mu theta so e to the power 0 0.28 into 2.97 is equal to 2.29 okay that means t2 will be t1 by 2.29 so t1 we know it is 1641 divided by 2.29 so it is 714.41 newton So first we need to find out what is the question. First question is to find out torque on each uh, shaft. Okay. Torque on driving shaft uh, will be T1 
effective tension is T1 minus T2 into radius of the uh, driving pulley. So this will be your torque. So 1641 minus 714.41 okay, into 0 0.5. So it will be 463.3 Newton meter torque. Now torque on driven pulley, torque on driven uh, pulley is T1 minus T2 into small r. So 1641 minus 7, 14.41 into 0 0.2. So this will give you 185, 185.318 Newton. Okay. Next question was power transmitted. Power. transmitted P is T1 minus T2 into linear velocity. So 1641 minus 714.41 into linear velocity was 11.52. So it is 10.679 kilowatt okay then third question was to find out power lost in friction so for that we have to find out third bit is to find out power lost in friction So for this, the input power, input power was 2 pi N1 T1 by 60. So uh, this will be 2 pi into N1 was 520 into, <coughs> sorry, it is 220 into T1 was T1 1641 okay 1641 divided by 60 so this will be just a second 2 into 5 into 220 1641 divided by 60. Uh, this will be 37.805 kilowatt. N1 was how much? N1 220, right? Um, 37.805 kilowatt uh, output power output power was 2 pi into t2 by 60 so 2 pi n2 was how much 520 520 into T2 was 714.41 divided by 60. So <coughs> this will be uh, 2 into pi into 520 into 714.41 divided by 60. <coughs> this is
Okay, 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 there is a mistake here. <clears throat> we are considering torque, not tension. This is your tension, okay, not torque. So torque was 463.3 here and here it was 185.3. Uh, 18. So power input will be 10.678 kilowatt and power output will be 10.01096 kilowatt. So power lost, power lost will be 0.58 2 kilowatt this will be the answer power last okay then last part was the efficiency efficiency you have to find out so this will be your output power divided by input power input power so 10.096 divided by 10.678 that is your 94.5 percent efficiency okay so likewise you have to solve all the problems related to bell drive so next we will start your gear train